Well, basically what happened today is that the judge uh, gave me a conditional discharge um, and basically puts me on probation for a year. Uh, in a sense, I've been criminalized uh, for my beliefs, my political beliefs. Uh, but in another sense, that if I don't uh, end up with any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of conflict with the law between now and that year, the end of probation, that year's probation, they will basically, there will be no record and there won't be a charge. So I, I won't have a, any, anything on my record. Uh, I also have a fine that I have to uh, pay a thousand dollar fine uh, to the charity of my choice. And uh, I've conferred with uh, a good friend of mine, John Duddy, from the 9-11 Truth Movement and basically have have determined that we're gonna, if we, if we can, we're gonna donate that thousand dollars to the architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth. Yeah, so basically my thoughts about what happened here today is that uh, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, sorta. But uh, I think he was as fair, the judge was as fair as he possibly could be. I, in a sense, it would, they almost stayed the proceedings, but stay in the, almost stayed the proceedings with a technicality. Uh, I never admitted guilt, and I will not admit guilt. I mean, I don't feel like I'm the one that is the criminal. The real criminal in this case is George W. Bush. Uh, the real criminal is George Bush, the, uh, the, the, the one who committed torture and murder. Um, uh, uh, the Bush administration that falsified intelligence from the CIA uh, and the National in Intelligence Estimate, 16 intelligence agencies in the United States basically concurred that uh, Iraq and Afghanistan posed no threat to American security, but the Bush administration, Condoleezza Rice, Dick, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, they all doctored uh, the intelligence and they made it look as if there was an intelligence risk, uh, a, a threat to the U.S. and subsequently they invaded with impunity. They invaded and they bombed and they bombed, they bombed out right back into the Stone Age, just as uh, the Bush administration and today the Obama administration is bombing Afghanistan back into the Stone Age and killing millions of peoples in the process with total impunity. And I'm not one to bite my tongue. And, and I've said from day one that uh, this whole war in Afghanistan and Iraq was a manufactured war. It was a manufactured war on terrorism. The threat against communism had, 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 had been erased a, hundred, uh, 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 a decade ago. And subsequently, they needed a new boogeyman in order to justify you know, the, uh, the, a military budget of almost a billion dollars at that point. Uh, we read all that inside the, uh, the Project for a New American Century, where they basically were trying to figure out a way to get uh, Congress to release a billion dollars, man, really to, to advance the co of Alohi, Martin, Raytheon, and Bowen, and McDonald, McDoug Douglas, McDonald Douglas. So basically, we read that, and the signatures of that Project for a New American Century are the same ones that were in the, the neoconservatives within the Bush administrations that said that the only way that they, the American people would go for that kind of military budget to let out that kind of money was if uh, some kind of catastrophic and catalyzing event would happen, like a New Pearl Harbor. Well, all of a sudden, manna from heaven, 9-11 happens, bingo, the Bush administration is, has got a justification to go into Iraq and Afghanistan. And subsequently, I say it was a manufactured war in order to manufacture this bogus war on terror in order to justify the U.S. interest and the, uh, and the whole corporate military interest uh, for the natural uh, oil and gas uh, deposits of the Caspian Sea Basin to establish military bases along those pipelines all the way down to from Azerbaijan to Turkmenistan to Afghanistan, Pakistan, all the way down to the Asiatic uh, Sea to try to control uh, the pipeline uh, uh, resources man, going into China and India. So therefore, what we got right there is a very dangerous potential for some kind of escalated nuclear activity could happen in that region. Uh, the Obama administration today is bombing that area, man, Pakistan with total immunity. Thousands of people are dying, man, just to, to maintain the interests of the Caspian Sea Basin there. Um, so I say that uh, the war crimes that are committed by these people are totally intolerable, that uh, the torture and the murders that were, permitted, uh, that were committed in the Bush administrations were completely in violation of international law and, the, and, and, and Article 3 of the Geneva Conventions. So uh, who's the real criminal is what I have to ask. 
uh, I will continue. As long as Canada has laws on the books that says that George Bush is an incredibly accused war criminal and should not be allowed into this country, uh, should not be allowed into this country, as well as everybody in his administration, uh, as well as the current Obama administration. As long as those laws are on the books that says that these war crimes should not go unpunished uh, and that they should not be allowed in this country, I'll be there to make sure that they're not allowed into this country. Even though you were found guilty with a conditional discharge, do you feel that you were successful? I, I, I believe I made a very strong point. I believe I showed one. I went 15 months relentlessly without, without taking any kind of plea bargain, without taking the offering for a stay of, uh, a stay of charges uh, if I pled un guilty to unlawful activity. I'm not the one that committed the unlawful activities. The unlawful activities are being perpetuated for the last almost 10 years straight, predominantly with impunity. And I think it's important for people to understand that we live in a world ever since they declared war in Afghanistan and Iraq at post 9-11, we live in a war, there is an endless war on terror. The, the civil rights man of the American peoples were totally ab abrogated. Um, the checks and balances man uh, for civilian populations were abrogated in the Patriot Act. And internationally, uh, that the, you know, internationally, there's this endless war on terror that allows the whole corporate military and industrial complex to continue to, 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 to steal and plunder and murder without being answerable to no one. So it's all been one big sham. We've all been hoodwinked into believing that there's these international terrorists that threaten our way of life. And in reality, it was just a big scam for the whole corporate uh, uh, industrial military complex. And these are nothing but fascist, totalitarian murderers and killers. This is what we're dealing with. Given all this information you presented, uh, are you kind of disappointed that this was minimized and deflected in your case? Well, yes, yes, I am in a sense. But you know what? I, I, I had no uh, uh, illusions of grandeur that they were going to come out and then say, oh, yes, Mr. Splitter in the Sky. What you're saying is absolutely true. Yes, George Bush was a war criminal. His whole administration was war criminals. The current Obama administration is nothing but a bunch of war criminals in these illegal wars and this contrived, uh, this contrived war on terror. No, I had no visions of grandeur that, that, that they were going to come out and affirm my beliefs. The, 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 the reason that we're in this thing called the struggle is because we struggle for every inch we gain towards liberation, towards freedom and understanding uh, of the truth of the world that we live in. So I'm a social activist. I'm a fighter to stop the wars of aggression and attrition internationally as well as domestically. I'm a freedom fighter and uh, I stood my ground and I gave in to nobody, and I refused to allow myself to be criminalized for, for trying to apprehend the real criminals. Would you do it again? Um, I might. I might. Any After further, a year, right? Further <laughs> thoughts? Last thought. Last thought. Well, my last thought is that the, 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 the struggle never didn't start here, and it don't end here. <laughs> it didn't start here, and it won't end here. We've got a lot of fighting to do, and we've got war criminals to apprehend. And if they come back to the country, Canada, stand on your sense of sovereignty, self-determination.